I developed a system that allows me to wake up at 2 a.m. every day, and it's way easier than you think. The dryers in my apartment haven't been working. They're all wet, and now I have to just sprawl them out of my floor, hang them up in my shower, because the dryer doesn't work. What's the point of paying rent? It's done. We're the best of friends through thick and thin. That's what we always said and what you believe. But I'm wanting more. I'm held on and for Time and again, you're let down by him. This is my life. You turn to me to ask my advice. And I'm there for you to help you through all the heartache he is causing you. Ish, I I'll show you. Could see just how Cheers. Good I'd be for you. Let's be honest. This is the most important part of the process. Let's start with the absolute basics of why you're getting out of bed early in the first place. After all, it's not terribly likely that you'll actually get out of bed if there's no reason to. I have a couple of reasons for this. So I tend to work morning shifts, opening shifts at work, which means I need to leave here at 4 a.m. Um, and I also tend to do my best work in the mornings. So I like to have at least a couple hours, excuse me, before I leave for work to get some work done for my business. Um, and then also, quite frankly, I like the challenge. It, make, it makes me feel good about myself. But with that out of the way, let's get into the actual tips. Use melatonin temporarily, temporarily. Sometimes your best bet is to go to bed only when you're tired and then still wake up early the next day. Just kind of brute force your way into that new sleep cycle. And as uncomfortable as that is, it also absolutely works. That said, we also now have the ability to make ourselves feel more tired in the evening. This needs to be used sparingly though, because if you take too much melatonin, your brain will stop producing it naturally and it, uh, it also can lower your testosterone a little bit. So uh, I use this maybe a couple of times a month. Do you like my knife? I made a knife with a knife. It's my inception knife, it's serrated. I don't know if it cuts anything, but I'm gonna make a steak tonight and find out. And if it does, I'm officially better than you. This is not even remotely necessary, but I did find these smart light bulbs at Walmart. Uh, they have like a sunrise, sunset feature that helps you wake up a little bit more naturally in the morning. Uh, if just the extra light doesn't wake you up, it'll kind of, you know, gradually get brighter and all that. Um, totally unnecessary, but helps a lot. So I do recommend it, they're pretty cheap. You've heard this a million times, I know, but you really need to be putting your alarm on the other side of the room. And get a physical alarm clock, by the way. There's no reason not to, they're so fucking cheap. I do find that once I take a couple of steps in the morning, I'm thoroughly awake. Like completely. I know I'm a little bit lucky in that, but nevertheless, it will it'll help you too. Why can't my lens just focus? But above all else, have a reason to wake up in the morning. And I don't mean what we talked about earlier. I mean have a reason to get up at all. Nothing gets my brain fired up like business. That's why I schedule all that stuff for the morning. Um, because it turns my brain on. I love doing it. I wake up early in order to do more business. You need something like that that gets you fired up in the mornings. That gives you a reason to wake up. This sounds kind of dumb, but I actually record custom alarms. You, I, you can do that on Android. I don't, I'm guessing you can do it on iOS too. I don't know. I record custom alarms for to like to tell my half awake self about the business I need to do that day. You snoozed me. You f***ing snoozed me. Wow, that's low. I thought we had a better relationship than that. I didn't realize that we were on, on snoozing terms. I apologize. Wow, you're, and yeah, you're a little bitch. I didn't know that. Okay, you're a fucking bitch. You're a bitch. Seriously, you're a bitch. Like, <laughs> like cowardly, stupid, fucking little bitch. Okay, is it warm in bed? Is it warm in bed? Aww. Aww. Are you cold? Aww. Wee wee. That's what you sound like. That's what you sound like. You know you have a business to run, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're f***ing pathetic. Wake up. It's also worth noting that everyone's sleep cycles look different. So for me, it's super easy to wake up at 2 a.m. This morning, actually, I, I woke up slightly before my alarm at 
that happens sometimes. But if I set my alarm for 5 a.m., I'll sleep right the fuck through it. So like figure out when your sleep cycles are, whatever, I don't know that stuff. I have a smartwatch that I wear to sleep and sleep only because smartwatches are dumb, but I track my sleep and then I know that stuff because brain, there's really, there's no reason to fight your circadian rhythm when the alternative is probably just to like shift your day by an hour most one way or the other. So just accommodate it. There's no reason to fight it. I also kind of go against every single productivity YouTuber in all of ever and uh, check my phone, my notifications the second I wake up. I do pull my phone into bed because generally speaking, hopefully, I'll have a bunch of business related notifications um, and then it just turns my brain on. I deal with those. Usually I'll be laying in bed and deal with half of them right then um, just because it excites me and then it'll turn my brain on. I'm good to go. And by that point, like by the time I'm done with those, I'm 100% awake. I couldn't go back to sleep if I wanted to. So, yeah, it, it lights a fire under my ass essentially. At this point, you might be wondering what businesses I'm talking about. I have two of them. I've got Club Bunny Media, so this channel and some freelance projects, and Club Bunny Coffee. Little fact about me, I've been a barista for about half a decade, and for part of that time, I worked at Starbucks, so not particularly fond of them. Starbucks culture has all but destroyed the appreciation for gourmet traditional coffee, especially in the US. Hence why I started Club Bunny Coffee Company to counter that trend in every way I can and try to rekindle that love for nuanced coffee in America. Every bag is roasted the exact same day that it's shipped, so to my knowledge, it's the freshest coffee on the internet. As far as I know, don't fact check me. As a thank you for watching my videos, all my viewers get a discount, so if you are at all interested in that, links in the description. I'd appreciate it, because YouTube still doesn't pay me anything, so. If you have any tips for waking up early, feel free to drop those down below. Uh, and in the meantime, I'll see you next week, hopefully. Yeah. Sure. sure. <laughs> I'll see you next week. I ran out of blue crayons. No man should be forced to eat a pink crayon. That is so wrong. Out of blue and out of red. The only acceptable options. I had a pink crayon. I'm pissed off now. This is inhumane. I shouldn't have to do this. I really shouldn't. This is stupid. I want to go cut something with my knife.